minute now, my guests will be arriving for a Christmas party. I have a special campfire treat, a campsite ocean trout and rice pilaf, and a colourful strawberry and buffalo mozzarella salad. It is summertime and I'm gonna make this terrific salad for you. It has all the ingredients which is synonymous with summer. I've got some delicious rockets, some strawberries, and some really cute little locally foraged thyme. This salad is so simple and so easy to make because I just layer it up, drizzle on top, and we're done. So with this salad, I've got this delicious rocket, nice and fresh, undressed. I've got these gorgeous Victorian strawberries here. I love them. Dark red, fragrant. I can eat these by the bucket load. Little edible thyme flowers, the wild thyme, they're great. They look so nice and so festive, all sprinkled through. Now we're gonna get our delicious That's Amore mozzarella. This is fresh mozzarella I just made last week. This is to live off this cheese, I love it. Fresh in the brine, I'm just gonna plonk it in the middle, ready for serving. Got a few of these incredible Otway walnuts, and walnuts are amazing because they they grow really well in Victoria, so they're nice and local. And I crush them over the top, a bit of extra flavour layering up there. And then what goes really well with strawberries is basil. So strawberries are the wonder fruit because they love being sweet and savoury. I'm going to finish this salad off with Mazzetti balsamic glaze. This is delicious on everything strawberries, on salads, on ice cream. I even have it on popcorn sometimes. Let's go generously drizzle over the top. Don't be scared. And there you have a super fresh summer salad. Looks festive, looks Christmassy. I love this. I could eat it all by myself. But I am going to share and I'm going to pop it outside ready for my guests. I'm so lucky to live in a region with so many talented farmers, growers, producers and local characters. Seeing all of this wonderful and diverse produce reminds me of what a foodie paradise the Great Ocean Road really is. And I have something so special for them. Yay! Thanks everyone for coming! Woohoo! I've got some ingredients here for you today. We're going to make a delicious campfire pilaf because there's nothing better than bunching around with a bunch of friends and enjoying some home-cooked food on an open fire. A little olive oil on the fire. That's going to just make some nice flames. Get some butter on this, this piping hot pan. Yeah, how good is it? Go, 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 fish in. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. Now what we're going to do... Now time to add Tilda's fragrant jasmine rice. These packs are so convenient, making them perfect for any occasion. Just be careful not to get smoke in your eye. And then some capers. Delicious. And preserved lemon. Preserved lemon, great, robust. You can tear it up a bit. Throw it in. Squeeze in some lemon. The herbs. Right, and then, going to let it cook now. How good does this look? I'm gonna have beautiful Otway walnuts here. Throw them on. Ready, set, go. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Teamwork, teamwork! <laughs> so I think we're done and let's have a Merry Christmas! Yeah. 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 And who's hungry? Yeah. Me! I have served it with Tobin's seasonal vegetables for an extra special touch. The party is in full swing and everyone is having an awesome time sharing food and enjoying each other's company. But you didn't think I'd forget dessert, did you? I've just finished icing these awesome cakes from Lombard, including with this incredible buttercream icing in lots of different colours. I've got an activity station set up outside for the kids and all the producers to decorate their own cake and have a bit of fun. What's not to love about that? Christmas light. Okay, kids! See them shine. Woohoo! Make some cakes to decorate! It's so easy, and watching these kids fall in love with making food is a wonderful Christmas treat in itself. Oh, so good. How good does that look? I've heard it said that an Aussie Christmas doesn't make sense. That a proper Christmas has snow, turkey, and those scratchy, ugly jumpers. 
don't agree. Our Christmas is a time of getting together, of celebrating and sharing everything we have with the people we love. I hope I've inspired you to embrace our wonderful country and all the food and people we take for granted, to use produce we have right on our doorstep, and to make up your own traditions. But most of all, I hope you and your loved ones have a very happy Christmas. Merry Christmas.